hi guys <laughs> let's get into this video today because it's a little bit different now i asked a lot of you if you thought this was a good idea on insta stories did a poll and you all said sounds like fun so the concept is i mean look at this whole big sofa i mean it goes back here of packages i'm so grateful i have been away for two weeks maybe three now it's been since i've um, been receiving these packages and i thought the concept would be really cool to do a my pr unboxing chooses my makeup tutorial so how it works is i open a box and if there's a foundation in there that is the foundation i have to use the first product that i open so like the first lipstick I come across, I have to test that. The first eyeshadow. I mean, I'm hoping that there's gonna be an array like of makeup in these packages to actually cover all bases for a full face of makeup. But anyway, let's get into it. I know that you all love an unboxing and I thought it would be cool to be able to actually test out what's in these packages. Cause a lot of the time I'll do a PR unboxing and I see these on online as well. And you've got a full face of makeup on, you know, you can swatch a few things, but it's hard to actually get the full first impression. So I just thought that this would be a bit of fun. I don't know if it'll catch on. My PR, I know Nikki Tutorials does stuff like Google chooses my makeup. And um, I love those types of videos. So um, yeah, I thought I'd do a My PR unboxing chooses my makeup. And I've just got up, I'm in my dressing gown. And then once I've selected all my makeup from these packages, by the way, this is the first one. Ah! which I'm excited about. Um, I thought it'd be fun to choose the makeup according to what I open first. Then we go upstairs and we do a tutorial and it will definitely put my creativity to the test as well. So, ah, uh, oh, yes, Colourpop. So we have a gorgeous package from Colourpop. Oh, it looks like we're gonna be doing a summary tutorial. So these are all of the Shut Up and Kiss Me Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip collection so i'm pleased that they're satin feel because i'm loving a little satin lip at the moment so i guess i can choose what lip color can't i which is cool but at least i get to put color pop to the test by the way guys so many of you have asked me about my arm and have seen that i'm raising it a bit more this one because i injured it ski and dislocated it if you didn't fist gig that's enough now so yeah if you didn't know i dislocated it broke it and um it's a long way to recovery but I, it was paralyzed and now i can raise it to here can't quite get it up here yet but physio throughout the year might help it. Amazing, so thank you so much Colourpop. I'm looking forward to trying out those lipsticks in my tutorial. <laughs> right, that's enough now. What should we choose? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You. <laughs> oh, this feels weighty. Ooh, hourglass, wow. Hourglass is bougie. What is gonna be in here? <gasps> Wait, yes, okay. So this is very exciting. In here we have the amazing um, Veil Mineral Primer. I've heard so many amazing things about that. So that's my primer. What's this? This looks cool. Oh, this is the lid for that. So we have translucent setting powder, yes. And we have a beautiful brush, which I'll use. Amazing, so I'll use those and Let's see what else we've got. Thank you so much, Hourglass. Oh, this is quite a heavy one. It says Christian Dior on it. Getting bougier and bougier. <gasps> Ooh. What was that? Here we have the Dior Addict Lacquer Plump. <gasps> okay, I'm, I'm excited. Plump, tint and shine. And look at these beautiful colours. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be my gloss then, I guess. I get to choose a gloss according to, oh wait, are these lipsticks actually? They've got like a lipstick shape inside and then you unscrew the bottle and it's a gloss. Thank you Dior. And I am excited to layer up these lip products, you know me. Let's open this box because it's quite big, which I'm always excited about a big package. Wow, this is from Nails Inc. Oh cute, such gorgeous colors. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna use them in this tutorial, obviously it's a makeup tutorial, but I cannot wait to try all of these cute little colors. Okay, what's next? Ah, oh, from L'Oreal. This is a gorgeous box, by the way. Oh, they've included a t-shirt. What's your obsession? My obsession is probably makeup, <laughs> if you hadn't already gathered. So in here we have like their brow products and mascara. 
I haven't tried their waterproof mascara and I always find that waterproof mascaras are a little bit crumbly. So that is gonna be what I try in my tutorial. Amazing, thank you L'Oreal. Can't wait to try the Paradise Mascara in waterproof because my eyes water so much. No idea what this is. Oh yes. This is gonna be a good tutorial, I think. So we have our cheek palettes, everyone. These are the NARS. Narcissist wanted two cheek palettes. So I'll show you what they look like when I open them up, but from the pictures, they look like they're going to be gorgeous. Oh, cute, we've got some little liquid lipsticks as well. Obviously my liquid lipsticks have been determined by my PR unboxing, but I cannot wait to try these. Thank you so much, Nars. Okay, so I'm on the hunt for a foundation, a bronzer, and eyeshadow palettes. Another package from Dior. This is exciting, what could it be? Ah, oh, yes. Dior Show Pump and Volume On Stage Liner. So in here, we have pink mascara. <laughs> I guess I should use it. I mean, they were my rules. I can't use every single thing that I opened, but I've got to choose something from each package. Um, liquid liner. Amazing, haven't opened one of those yet. A liquid liner in yellow, pink and white. Oh, and blue. Who else loves Ariana Grande's new song? <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. Benefit coming through. Are they gonna sort my brows out? You know. You know that Benefit is obviously gonna come through with a brow product for me. Give Me Brow, which is actually, um, my favorite, favorite brow, brow gel, brow mascara. So I comb through my brows and it gives a beautiful fullness to them. But I do still need something to like fill them in a little bit. This does fill them in, but I need some, something to create more shape rather than volume. So let's take this out. Thank you so much, Benefit. I feel like you're here opening up these presents with me. So guys, obviously this is a lot of stuff and um, I'm so grateful for it, but I couldn't possibly keep it all. I test it and um, obviously give my honest opinions on it and then things that wouldn't normally be for me or things that I have doubles of or things that I just think you guys will love, I put to the side and I do regular giveaways for you all. You obviously know that I do that already. I do it for most YouTube videos, so if you comment and subscribe, I'll send someone in the comments who's a subscriber a little bundle of makeup for each um, upload. And wow! <gasps> Sorry, got a bit excited there. Um, Urban Decay coming through with a bronzer and an eyeshadow palette. Yes! This is their beached collection. Look at the colors in this palette, please. I think we're on our way to a tropical summer tutorial, don't you? Oh wow, this looks interesting. I can't use it in this tutorial, but this is really cool. Switch and ditch your hair color like your makeup. Whoa! Look at all the hair colors that they've given me. We have La Roche Posay. Factor 50, very high protection, SPF. <laughs> Cry. From Paul and Joe. Little compacts and they've got like little caps on them. <gasps> Does this mean there's another cat lipstick in here? Let's look at this little cutie, it's a little cat lipstick. I'm totally gonna do another tutorial with that because it's actually to die for. That, believe it or not, is a product. Like pop in your bag for a night out or a day out and you don't have to take around palettes. You can just take like a brush and a little sticker. That's really, really, really cool. I love that. Thank you so much, Paul and Joe. I am a big fan. Feel unique and make. I've not heard of make before. Moonlight neck repair. This packaging's very, very cool. A fine cooling mist that naturally calms, comforts, and moisturizes dry, overexposed skin. Moisturizing primer. I've got quite a big box here from Feel Unique. <coughs> Oh wow, so they've basically sent me a load of vegan treats, which is really kind. So they've sent me sunscreen by a brand called Jason. A little lime crime lipstick. Deliciously Ella coconut and oat vegan treat. Okay, I haven't had breakfast yet, so. Thank you for sticking by my side with like a little cactus. And I think it's like a little bracelet or anklet or something. Make a wish. And then when the string of this bracelet breaks, your wish comes true. Thank you, Phil Unique, you absolute babes. Hello. Yes, MAC. Amazing, so these are all like throwback colors. We have like the iconic nudes that I think people wanted MAC to bring back. We have some eyeshadows, 
Oh, I love these colours. I cannot wait to try these in tutorials and just in life, really, because these colours are well up my street. Thank you, Mac. Love you all. Love a little orange jiffy bag. No way. This is cool. Oh my goodness. I don't know what brand this is yet, but look. They've made me a cartoon of me. Let me show you the original picture here. And then this is me as a cartoon. That is epic. Primark, my babes at Primark. Brand new PS K-pop collection. So we have a bubble blush. Bubble blush, bubble, bubble, bubble blush. Shimmer powder. I love this idea for the K-pop collection. Jelly Belt lipstick here, which is cute. Pillow Talk liquid lipstick. Thank you so much, Primark. That really is so thoughtful. Amazing. Targeted toning body moisturizer by Elemis. Beautiful packaging. Yes, I've been wanting to try this since forever. This is the new Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. And I've heard such amazing things about it. A few of my friends just went to New York on a trip to celebrate the launch of this. So I've been wanting to try it desperately since. So I'm gonna put that on before my mineral veil. In here we have some cute little tinted lip oils by L'Oreal, which I love the idea of, and a lip scrub. I love using lip oils, so I'm excited about this package. I think we might have found my foundation, guys. Package from Cover FX. <gasps> Ah, yes! At one point I was thinking, I don't think I'm actually going to have a foundation to use in this tutorial. But look, we have the new Cover FX Power Play foundations. And I'm going to get them on my face for this tutorial. So there you go. Thank you, Cover FX. So I think we've covered all bases with my face of makeup. Let's just see what else I've got to unbox. Nope, we haven't covered all bases. I guess I'm wearing glitter from Go Get Glitter. Guess I'm putting that on my face. Yes, I needed something to define my brows further. This is Nude by Nature eyebrow pencil. Haven't used an actual eyebrow pencil in a long time, so I'm gonna be using that. Shayla and Colourpop, congrats girl. This collab looks amazing. I know my PR unboxing has already determined what eyeshadow palette to use, but how beautiful are the colors in Shayla's and Colourpop's new collaboration. Bomb. We have a package from Milani. Highlighters in this little pouch here. What have we got in here? Oh, some little like liquid lipsticks in here, which is cute. And some eyeshadow toppers in here, which is cute, but I can't put a million different products on my face, really. Thank you, Milani. I haven't tried many Milani products yet, so I'm looking forward to trying those. Oh, well, I guess I didn't have a lip liner already. So these are the new Bourjois Contour Edition. Bit of me, that. So I'll choose one of those, probably this one, actually and use that in my tutorial. Yes to Patrick Star and Matt collaboration. How gorgeous is this packaging? I mean, it's like floral. It is just so gorgeous. And this is like the blush. Wow, this eyeshadow palette looks incredible too. Congrats, Patrick and Mac. Oh no, I hadn't covered lashes. Lily's come through with that order. I think I'm gonna choose Doha, my favorite lashes ever. What's in here? Oh wow, thank you, Lime Crime. Look how many lip products are in there. And some eye products too. No way do we have another Lime Crime box. Oh, I wanted to try this palette for the longest time, the Venus XL. Look at the colors in this palette, please. And brushes, which means I have to use them because I haven't actually unboxed many brushes yet. Thank you, Lime Crime. Okay, my little pony. Glam Glow's new Gravity Mud Mud Mask. Looking forward to using all of these little glitter masks. Thank you, Glam Glow. Last but not least, what looks like it could be champagne. Nails Ink new Champagne Shine. Little nail polishes, which look beautiful. And to celebrate, oh, they've customized a bottle of champagne. Look, they put my name on it, can you see? Thank you, Nails Inc. I feel like I need to down the whole thing and then do my makeup. <laughs> we have all of our selected makeup products. I'm about to jump in the shower and then let's do my makeup with all of this. Help! <laughs> okay, my beauties, I have my box here full of everything that I'm going to test for the first time. Let's kick it off with the new Glow Formula Skin Hydrator by Kiehl's. Can you see it's got a bit of colour to it? So basically you can use this as a primer, as a moisturiser, on its own, under makeup, or even as a highlighter because it gives you the glow, which is exciting. Oh, it smells so good too. It feels so lovely on my skin as well. Next I'm going to use the Hourglass Veil, which is the mineral primer, um, which is apparently incredible. I've heard so many amazing things about this primer. It comes out white, obviously blends into the skin to be completely 
transparent i think i might have put too much on actually a little bit goes a long way it's like silky smooth okay so next up foundation of course the first foundation that i came across in the packages was the cover effects power play now i've heard good things about this i'm not sure if this is going to be the correct color oh this doesn't look too bad actually i might even use because i didn't come across any concealers i might actually use a lighter shade of this foundation too as a concealer wow it's such a nice formula because it's not like caking up, I used the shade G plus 40. Now I'm gonna use the shade G20 to use as, yeah, that should be light enough, to use as a concealer. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my Kabuki brush and then just dab that in the areas that I want to kind of, oh yeah, this is perfect concealer shade to illuminate and also conceal definitely that spot that's annoying oh my goodness i absolutely love how this is blended out flawless so now i'm going to use the hourglass veil the translucent setting powder i'm going to use one of those brushes that lime crime sent to just set under my eyes and i might as well just sweep this over the rest of my face and then we'll move on to the bronzing. It's funny that I still don't know what look I'm gonna end up with right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna use the Beached Bronzer and this is in the darkest shade, Bronzed. This is by Urban Decay and I just love the look of this deep shade so much. I'm gonna start by contouring. This is one of the contour brushes that Lime Crime sent and look, so I've got glitter in the handle, I love it. Beautiful soft warm but not too orange that's what i like so i'm just going to chisel that jawline go underneath it to really define it and to separate my jaw from my neck obviously cheekbones temples to make it look like your cheekbone pops as well forehead to make it look like the sun has kissed you naturally i also sometimes like splay the brush a bit like that and do a little nose contour not too drastic, up and down, each side, on each nostril to nip the nose in, make it look narrower. Wow, what a difference. Amazing. That bronzer is really so, so beautiful. I'm just going to go in with a bigger, fluffier brush that I um, used with that mineral powder and just kind of blend into the rest of my face where I've contoured and a bit more down the neck just to give me colour all over rather than just in the areas that I've chiselled. So next I'm gonna go in with some blusher and highlight. I like to do my blush and highlight before I do my eyes and brows because otherwise it gets all dusty in my brows after I've done them. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Wanted 2 palette, which looks a little bit like this. These colours are beautiful, so we have like a few different shades of blushes, even a purple one, and then we have a highlight, which is exciting. So, so I'm gonna use a little tiny dab of this ultra pink one, and then swirl my brush around the rosy one. What a gorgeous combination for spring. I always end up just like dusting blusher all over my face. <laughs> Next, let's highlight. Let's have a look at this pigment though. Am I gonna be disappointed? Ooh, let me show you. That is actually gorge. See what I mean about dusting it into my eyebrows? I like to just be rough and then fill my eyebrows and eyes in afterwards. Wow, beautiful pigment in the Wanted 2 palette by NARS. I might just be reaching for this quite regularly. She glassy. I feel like the eyes are going to get a bit crazy. <laughs> so let's do the eyebrows, which is, yeah, the Nude by Nature eyebrow pencil before I use some of that Gimme Brow. This, I mean, I have no idea what this is going to be like. I've never used anything by this brand before. I know it's stocked on Feel Unique. I mean, it's gliding on really well, but then how is the staying power going to be? This shade is 02 Medium Brown. It's very, very soft, this crayon, which I like. I'm gonna use a little bit of that Benefit Gimme Brow to fix the brow in place and to make it look a little bit more fluffy. 
Okay, so apparently I went for quite dramatic eyebrows, but now onto this beautiful palette. So this is the Beached Eyeshadow Palette by Urban Decay. Just you look at these colours. So I'm thinking that I'm going to create a warm eye with a pop of blue underneath. First I'm going to go in with the shade Salt, just to kind of prime my overall... Oh, this is quite pigmented. Wow, amazing. Just to prime my overall lid, really. Then I'm gonna go straight in with that Daybreak shade, which is a beautiful matte, warm shade. And actually, this is, there's only two matte shades in this palette. I'm gonna create the depth with this color as the transition. And I'm gonna create some kind of a spotlight eye. I never used to take dark shadow into this side of the socket, but now I actually quite like it. Build that up by kind of stamping it on and then blending it out. This is just a fluffy brush from Iconic London, it doesn't have a name, it's just one of their fluffy ones from their kits. Their brushes are quite affordable and really nice actually. This is the shade Wedge, I'm going to go in with that. I'm just going to use this just a little bit on my outer corner. It's building up nicely, I only used a bit of that Wedge colour because the colour didn't pick up as intensely as I wanted it to, but now I'm going to use a bit of this shade here, 16th Street. Again, it's metallic, but I'm going to use this to just intensify the crease there and add a little bit of a, like a little kick of shine. A kick of shine? Does that even make sense? I'm going to kind of take that along the lash line as well. I'm going to go in with this one as the spotlight above my eye and this one under my eye. So we're going to go with double dip here and then plunge under the eye. Oh wow. Now that is gorgeous. Now I'm going to go in with that shade plunge, that beautiful deep kind of teal shade and go under my eye. Ooh. Oh, I like this. So I've kind of like taken it under, smudged it onto the top lash line as well to blend in with the transition and the other blue. Wow. I'm going to take the shade Heat Wave and put that in my actual lash line. That is like a smouldering beachy eye. The next product I'm going to use is the Dior Show On Stage liner in, it's waterproof liquid liner which is amazing in vinyl black. Draw a line all the way across my lid and wing it out ever so slightly. Wow, this is so precise. Can really get a nice sharp line with this. Yes, I am in love with this liner. It's not as black as I kind of hoped it would be but it's gorgeous and so precise. I'm gonna apply these little lily lashes in the style Miami. Oh, actually, whilst the lashes are drying, let's try out this beautiful mascara by L'Oreal. It's the Paradise Ecstatic Waterproof Mascara. The wand has nice bristles on it. They're not like those rubber bristles, which always stab me in the eye. Oh, I like that. Wow, it makes my bottom lashes look long. <laughs> okay, so now let's put these lily lashes on. I do always trim each end ever so slightly so they fan out more at the end. Oh, I feel like the pink mascara is going to ruin this, but let's see what we can do. Well, it's not too bad, you know. Oh, literally just putting some streaks in these lashes. Wow, that adds a real like tropical carnival feel to my lashes. This is like an amazing festival makeup look without even realising it. I totally thought the pink was going to ruin it, but actually it's added a real nice like fluttery tropical look to it. Love it. I actually really love the little pink streaks going through these lashes. So gorgeous. Okay, now for the glitter in the corner of the eyes, I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of lip gloss in each tear duct, which looks kind of crazy because it's pink. <laughs> then I'm going to take my blue glitter called It's a Boy and just get just a couple of those little 
gorgeous glitter flex. I like this little one in the corner. I don't think I like this one. So, so pleased with how the eyes have come out. Let's do the lips and then finish off the face. I'm not sure if I said, but this glitter is called It's a Boy by Go Get Glitter. Okay, now for the lips. Please ignore my spot. I'm using the Bourjois Contour Edition pencil in Funky Brown. Oh, literally glides on like a dream. But it's so soft that it literally blends in when I smack my lips together. So I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is the Ultra Satin Lip by Colourpop in the shade Dilly Dally. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Now I'm going to use the Dior uh, Lip Lacquer Plump in the shade Lovely D, 426 anyway. Oh, it's like a cold sensation. Oh, it's a really weird sensation because it's obviously a plumping one. It's like water when I put it on my lips. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Shall we zoom out and see how this goes with the eyes? Oh my word! This makeup look! I actually love it! The lips, the eyes, they complement each other beautifully. The blush and the bronze, like every single product that I've used has gone together amazingly. What are the chances in me opening random boxes and everything on my face going together? If you're a YouTuber, big or small, I challenge you to do this because it was a lot of fun. Because it definitely does test your creativity, like I had to use pink mascara. <laughs> and I made it work, I'm quite proud of myself. Well, okay my beauties, this is the finished look. I can't quite believe it, we got through it. I'm not sure how long this is gonna end up being. I'm sorry if it's super long and I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did love this concept, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions about what you want me to do, then please leave a comment in the comment section. I love having little conversations with you. There's probably a giveaway on this video too. So subscribe, comment, and a little bundle of makeup could be coming to you. I do it on most videos. But anyway, please do subscribe for weekly videos. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a makeup tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I've managed to do a PR unboxing and show you some amazing new products. I'll try and list... I'll try and list them in the description box below so you can go and grab them if you want to get any of these products. But yeah, other than that, I just want to say that I've got some really, really, really exciting announcements coming so soon, like just around the corner. That's if I haven't announced them already. And um, so please keep up to date on my Instagram, Snapchat, um, YouTube, but Instagram especially, okay, on Insta Stories and my grid because something's about to drop really soon. It's what I've been working on for years, like years. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you're gonna know so soon. And I'm gonna introduce you to a whole nother side of me, which I'm excited for. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you lots, Mwah. bye.